So I have been restricting myself to comment about this. But I think it's time to talk about it. And uh, I've seen a few people are talking about it. And this is about Pastor Kanyari. And when it comes to the things of God, I think there is a level we need to reach. And there are things we are allowed to do and things that we are not allowed to do. The level at which Pastor Kenyari has reached, I feel he needs to go back to the drawing board and try to understand his calling. And just like Pastor T said, maybe he is not a pastor. Maybe he's a comedian or is a, a content creator. And so in my opinion, I feel Pastor Kanyari has a problem. Uh, recently, I saw a lady uh, who came to him and he awarded him or he gifted him uh, condoms and remis. And I just imagined how pathetic that was. And the guy was just laughing about it. It was in front of the church. People are seated and, and the, the congregants are just laughing. And I was like, these people are lost. Why do they think that it is so fun for someone to gift a pastor, someone who calls himself a man of God, condoms and a remiss? We might take this lightly and maybe the congregants might take this lightly. But in the things of God, I think we need to raise the standards and pastors, bishops, reverends, need to condemn this. You need to talk to him. I think he needs to be talked to. I think he needs advice. Maybe the foundation that he set was wrong from the beginning. He might have a big church, might have a big congregation. But when it comes to such things, we really start doubting if he is a man of God. And just like many are saying, he is just a content creator. So Pastor Kanyari, I think it is time to go back to the drawing board and find your reason why you were called. And if truly you are called by God, then the things you are doing are wrong. You need to change. You need to uphold uh, the holiness of the altar. You need to respect the altar. Stop doing live streams with ladies twerking. Uh, stop asking money from everywhere and anywhere. Stop doing things just for the sake of money. I, I think I've just spoken out my heart. As a man of God, you need to raise your standards. And there are people who are following you. Don't lead them astray. Like Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. But I can tell you are not following Christ. And I really pity for your congregants who really believe in you. So please, Pastor Kanyari, go back to the drawing board and think about it.